Hello there, dear subscribers and the rest of the YouTube viewers. Uh, my name is Saleh and today I'm going to show you a, a rather short uh, footwear review video. Uh, it's been a long time since the last since I had a decent you know review video like a, a year ago with my Carhartt uh, jacket video. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep things simple and I'm uh, we're gonna talk about a uh, Australian uh, surf equipment uh, manufacturer uh, also known as Rip Curl. Well Rip Curl aside uh, the, the surf equipment they, they uh, manufacture excellent footwear and we're gonna talk about their uh, latest uh, model list uh, edition of a model known as San Seb or uh, San Sebastian whatever you like to call it. Uh, I used to wear a uh, rip curl. Uh, I actually had two pair of shoes, you know, two pair of two pairs of sneakers. Uh, I don't know what's, what was the name of, of the first pair, I forgot. But the second pair was uh, upgrade leather and it was an excellent model. Somewhere, you know, if, if you're looking for a, for a sneaker and you, and you can decide, you know, between wearing a classical, you know, sportswear sneaker and a lifestyle shoe, they come somewhere in, right in between, right in the middle of it. They, they, they blend, you know, excellent like a casual design, but with some uh, sport uh, characteristics, you know. The, they, I, I, have, I, I have worn so many shoes in my lifetime, Nikes and so, so many skateboard brands, you know, DC, Vance, Lakai and many other and that was always a problem the, the, main, the main problem about these shoes they're they're hard on your feet I mean, I mean I'm not a princess like like a Cinderella I'm wearing a glass shoes and something like that but the thing is uh, excellent footwear and, and the primary thing about excellent footwear is you know wearing comfort and and I, I believe for the last couple of years you know wearing comfort was 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 somewhere in the back so many people were you know sacrificing the design for the wearing cover. I actually had a couple of shoes and my, my, my feet were bleeding. The thing is, today we're going, I'm going to show you the, these two San Sebastians, but I wanted to talk about a little bit of a, you know, skateboard shoes. I'm a huge, huge fan of many skateboard uh, pr 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 manufacturers, producers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, especially DC. I, n I never had a DC shoes in my, in my life. So, prior to, to my first pair which I bought last year and uh, those were a long sought pair of uh, DC Pure there are a couple of other iterations of DC Pure, you have DC Pure, DC Pure XT or X8 never mind that and I was looking looking for these uh, over uh, over eBay I finally a local store in Croatia I got them and I just you know I just bought them on impulse and the thing is that it was like a year ago last year 2015 that was maybe late February and I'm gonna show you what happened after a year of wearing them I, I don't wear I, I don't ride a skateboard I, I, I ride a, I know, a little bit of bicycle that's it so mostly I wear them you know just day to day you know going to work going back home you know going to, to the to the gym going to the, to the convenience store and so on and I'll show you these are DC Pure in uh, wheat color they call it wheat, but they're a little, little bit beat up. I mean, they're one one year old. And um, actually, I like yeah, I like the you know like a like a lumberjack industrial design. You know, they, they look like you know caterpillar um, boots. Yeah, they look almost like a caterpillar boots. And 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 that was like a the the thing the thing that that really attracted to me was was the color, the wheat color. You know, they look like you know like working boots. The thing is. After a year, year or so, if you I'll zoom this one up, the soles have, you know, have been broken apart. You can see it easily. I just need to center it. Look at this. Oh, crap. Oh, on the both of them, I'm going to show you the, the, the right one. I mean, it's under, understandable if you're a. Uh, if you're a, uh, you know, a skateboarder, you, these, these, are, these are made for, for you know, jumping on your skateboard and doing tricks and stuff like that, falling off, getting your face beat up, pummeled to the ground. But the thing is, I only walk in them, you know, just standard, you know, standard walk, climb and <laughs> climb on over the staircase, and that's it. So they they managed they manage to, to, you know, to, to break apart in a year. So, ah, to hell with them. Back to the rip curl. 
Rip Curl, I never got, actually knew about this company, you know, so because you know most of the manufacturers they, they they always have like a like small puns, you know, like where we make you know high quality durable footwear and we're best than the others, you know, blah 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 and so on. But none of them seem to deliver. I mean, I used to have Vans, like that was uh, I don't know six or seven years ago. Vans, Anthony Yang or Anthony. I don't know what, what was the name of this guy. Some it probably is a skateboard. I don't know. I don't want to insult anybody. And those shoes actually lasted for six months. Yet again, I just for plain you know walking. Maybe they have to be. Maybe they have like a, like a limited you know lifetime. But they actually the leather just up front. On the I'm going to show you on my DCs. The leather up in front was broken on this part here where, where, where the sewing is. So it was like, oh my god, after six months, that's not, that's not enough time, man. man I, I had some Adidas sneakers. Adidas is durable. Uh, and even today, I have a, a pair of Adidas tobacco. I don't have it here. I could, I could, I'm going to show you a, a quick image. Adidas tobacco. I bought them. I bought a pair of them on the spring 2009. I even have it to this very day. Knock on wood, and uh, they're an excellent pair of uh, sneakers. You know, they're like something like Gazelle. If you're if you're similar to Adidas Gazelle, you know, Adidas Tobacco is almost the same, but the the build quality is way beyond, way beyond that anything you could imagine. So. Uh, I will show you these rib curls. Actually, I bought them on a special discount. The regular price for uh, for one pair was uh, we, we need to need to transfer it from Kuna to to American dollars, approximately uh, well seventy bucks, seventy to eighty bucks up per pair. And I actually, kind of on a fifty percent discount from a Croatian store in Pula. And these are you know rib curls. They come in in these sweet little boxes, you know. I'm not gonna do an up unboxing of these shoes because you know it's a shoe box. What what else can you can you have in it? I mean, <laughs> well, a couple of you know paper and 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 silica gel to to extract the humidity. That's it. I mean, when you open this this one is maybe a uh, San Seb. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit closer. San Seb Navy Tan. I wear uh, United States 11 European 45. Uh, about these shoes, they're, they're really similar, like maybe 100% similar to the previous Rip Curls, which I, which I wore, and those were uh, Rip Curl Upgrade Leather. Those were excellent shoes. Uh, the, uh, the, the material on those was, uh, how do you call it, suede. And uh, the problem is, uh, I, had, I, I didn't treat them well, you know. I, I, they were exposed to, you know, rain. Even snow. I, I wore those uh, even even when it was snowing outside, and and the leather and uh, the suede just you know it just got you know jacked up you know uh, torn off, and but, but the thing is the soles and and, and the gluing and everything and, and 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 the stitches and everything it was all kept in, intact. Everything was like just one hundred percent functional. They didn't break anywhere. And I and I bought them in summer 2013 and I just threw him away like a couple of weeks ago I just threw him away so almost almost three years without being you know without getting broken apart just like these uh, DC's I believe there are excellent DC models maybe I, I have bad luck with, with DC pures I don't know but you know to, to for a shoe sole to break apart you know after a year just walking, you know, a, a, a little bit of, you know, riding a mountain bike. That's it. I mean, I don't wear them to the gym because the the problem is a problem about about the the skateboard shoes. The main problem is these are so hard to. I don't know what kind of feet people, the rest of the people have what kind of what kind of feet, but these are really hard. It's like wearing a, a pair of bricks. Probably wearing a pair of bricks. Wearing wearing a pair of I know how to I know, I know how to say pair of bricks maybe maybe pair of logs. These are really heavy. They have to be heavy because they're they're made to jump on a skateboard and to do tricks and you know and bump and so on. Uh, but they are really un, really uncomfortable to wear. That's that, that's the problem about skate shoes. Skate shoes, skateboarding shoes. You know they have excellent design, premium design. You know. Uh, if if you're into urban stuff and so on, but about the rip curls, 
and we get back to rip curls. The uh, thing is, they're somewhere in between, uh, just like I have mentioned it earlier before, you know, somewhere in between, somewhere in between, you know, having a, a casual shoe, like wearing in office, you know, you, you, you work in a, I don't know, you work in a, you know, in an office environment, you, you need to, you, you can't wear your Air Max. A, a, ever growing trend, but for the past year, I have noticed that there's so many Nike, Nike's uh, Air Max around. They were like buried in a vault somewhere, like from back from the '90s, because I know they were highly popular in the '90s. I used to have a, I used to have a, a probably Google image. I used to have a Charles Barkley signature Nike Air, uh, Air Maxes back in maybe that that was maybe 1996, 1997, when Charles Barkley was probably playing for Phoenix Suns. Correct me on that one, please. If I if I'm wrong, so uh, and and for the, I'm in, in the early 2000s up to now, I'm, I, nobody I, I haven't seen so much so so many people you know wearing the Nike Air Max, and now it's like a huge boom, and this costs a lot. I mean, a premium Nike Air Max uh, model costs up to 200 bucks uh, a pair here in Croatia. I know uh, there are similar prices over the, over the eBay, probably in the United States as well. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Nike, but I like Nike Cortez. They're, those are like I used to. I used to have Nike Cortez, and they lasted almost. They lasted almost like four or five years or so. Those are excellent sneakers. You, you should look up Nike Cortez on on the eBay, or if you, if, if you like that you know, 70s 80s style. But the thing is, um, there's a huge, 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 or ever growing trend of wearing Nike Air Maxes. For a couple of uh, maybe a couple of years, two, one, two years or so, I'm not. I'm not actually, you know, trying to buy them because uh, where I work, I work in an office environment, you know, and just it's 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 not, you know, um, convenient for you to wear, you know, uh, like a sports shoe in, in such an environment. So I was looking for something, you know, in between, and uh, these rip curls are uh, excelente. Why? Because of their design, okay. Some, you know, uh, tastes are always individual. It always depend about. It, they always depend about you know the user experience. So keep in mind, these are the Rip Curl San Sebastian San Seb. The look, I don't know. Some people will like it. Some people say you look like a you know like like a like some Italian douchebag wearing them. But these are like. And that mm, was unforgettable, excellent, uh, you know, smell of freshly opened shoebox. Man, I, I, I always, you know, get, get so so easily devoted to it. So, this is San Seb, San Sebastian. And the and you can you can see it on the shoe, so it's easily readable team light. So, uh, and, and those uh, rip curls, previous rip curls, which I, which I was talking about, the uh, rip curls upgrade, they were also uh, made with these really light wearing uh, soles. Team Light, uh, they were called uh, Light Series back in 2013. So, these are the Sam Sebs, and uh, you have to stand, you know, like a, like a car you can read. These are actually G Gabriel Medina. Signature model. I don't know who this guy is. Probably some, you know, kick-ass surfer. But I don't know who, who this guy is at all. So you, you have like this cardboard uh, mold inside of it. I don't know how to how to say it exactly. So I'm gonna open up and I'm gonna show you these two. So this is Sand Seb and 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 the materials. These are really like when you touch them, it feels like ripstop material. You know, rips ripstop. Most of the military equipment are made out of rips ripstop, and this is most like like some textile. I don't know how. Maybe a little bit of maybe un uh, untreated leather. Okay, uh, brushed leather. Mostly something like a like a brushed leather. Okay, but this part here is uh, like ripstop, so it's um, I don't know, maybe cotton based. So they won't won't last if if they if they catch up some rain or stuff like that. So I'm gonna zoom it up. I look fancy somewhere in between, you know, between a shoe and a sneaker. Caught between two worlds. Nice. So for the other, uh, so uh, uh, I'm gonna show you another color combination. This one was uh, navy tan. Okay. 
maybe 10. And the, and the second pair is, let me see, 10. Only 10. This time, 10 only. Sensei 10. And, uh, okay, let me open up this thingy. So, 10. Mm. Mm. They sure, don't, they sure, sure, hopefully don't smell that way after a couple of weeks of wearing them. <laughs> I'll just take out this cardboard mold and this. They're a little bit darker, you know, like like a like a caramel color. I probably my camera won't won't uh, won't handle these colors well, but you can see that the same design. But these, when you, when you zoom it up, you, you can see like small pores. I need just to adjust this, adjust the focus on my cam. You see, like they have like small pores. It's like our, they're not they're not the same uh, as the previous like the Navy Tan model. These, these like like a breathable. So they they probably they're you know they have like like a certain transparency about them. So mostly they're not supposed to be worn during rain or something like that because they won't last that long. And the inside you have the, like a light. Light, you, you can, oh, you, you could easily see those are the light series. Light series, that's right. And the thing about it is, well, well this shoe looks like, like like any other shoe you could buy. There's so many manufacturers who, who, who are making these, you know, similar models. But I will tell you for a fact, and trust me, trust me on this one, really. Uh, I, I never, I never, I never, uh, I never say uh, that something is excellent if it isn't. And this thing is really superb. Trust me. Um, if you want to wear something lightweight, something that feels excellent, I mean, heavens, these are like wearing like 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 walking barefoot on clouds. This is the best way to describe it. Like barefoot walking on clouds. Like barefoot walking on marshmallows. This is excellent stuff. This is premium beyond. Uh, trust me, I'm not paid by Rip Curl. I'm not paid by anyone. I just do the, these things like a hobby. I do, do these reviews just for like, just like for Carhartt. This is an excellent shoe. Trust me, and maybe it doesn't look like it. it, it maybe it doesn't look that way. Maybe people oh. This shoe, I don't know, looks kind of retarded. I don't know, I don't like new type shoes and stuff like that. But if you, if, if you know, it's now it's uh, late March, and soon we're gonna, spring is right over here, you know, and uh, soon it's going to be summertime. You need to wear something light because your feet are gonna get sweaty and stinky and stuff like that. And you need to wear something light. And this is the mother of the shoes. Trust me. Okay, may, maybe. Maybe there are even better models. Maybe there are even better solutions, you know. But these rip curls are excellent. And I recommend them. Recommend them. You can easily buy them off eBay. I saw a couple of, a couple of them are even on Amazon. I don't know. I think they belong to the last year's collection. And uh, if you're lucky enough, you might as well find them somewhere online. You can find them on eBay or on uh, bluetomato.com. Bluetomato.com. I will give you links in the description below. I believe Air Maxes are excellent, but they don't look like a, you know like a casual shoe. I believe there are so many other expensive, like I don't know Armani's or Polini's. I don't know which one that they might be an excellent shoe to wear, but they are kind of expensive. And somewhere in between lies these rip curls are somewhere like mid to low class. I don't want, I don't want to you know embarrass somebody you know, but they're, they're not so expensive. So this is about the this is about the showcase. Now we're gonna wear them. Stay tuned. And Sebs in ten. There we go. Maybe I should move a little bit further. Huh? Yeah, that's better. So we're gonna do a little bit of 360. Nice. And when you're walking, oh man, these feel great. Mm -hmm. Almost just like the previous upgrade leather model. 
the so so easy on your on your toes and you know fingers on your feet. Mm. Superb, very in comfort. Trust me on this one. This is great. Doesn't get any better than this. So I'm not going to wear the, the only the tan ones because they, they're both the same, you know. Ah, excellent, excellent. You know, summer, springtime sneakers slash shoes, and you can check them out on eBay or on BlueTomato.com or at your local local rip curl dealers. So uh, I'm going to crouch a little bit so my cam will catch me up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, just uh, pose your questions down below the comments and uh, hit that like button if you would like to, you know, uh, compliment my work. And I'll uh, see you again in the next episode. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day.